been a long history of, um, I don't know what, what the word I'm looking for. Hitting the fan. <laughs> Macy, what would you say, what changed after the reunion and why, and how did you and Ryan get back into this better co-parenting place? Um, obviously, you know, it started with Bentley and him really sharing his point of view and perspective on the influence that I have on their relationship. Um, but at the commitments that Ryan and I made to each other as far as communicating and him being consistent as far as showing up for Bentley and um, we really, we just have stuck to the commitments. Um, mm -hmm. And with that then comes, you know, trust and um, communication is healthier. And um, yeah, it's been, definitely hasn't been easy, especially with everything going on, but we're still in the, going in the right direction. Yeah, you know, Taylor, in the couple episodes that I watched, you seemed a little uneasy about Ryan coming back into the fold. I mean, has he made you believe that his intentions are good yet? Um, yeah, I think to an extent. It's just, there's, there's a, there's been a long history of, um, I don't know what, what the word I'm looking for. Hitting the fan? <laughs> yeah. Or inconsistent? It's been a long history of inconsistency. So I was, I was a little skeptical. Um, and I'm trying to find a balance between protecting Bentley and, um, and not getting in the way of him wanting to have a relationship with Ryan. Yeah. And how is his relationship with Bentley now? Um, honestly, Taylor and I, we talked about a couple weeks ago. I think as crazy as it is because he is in jail right now, he shows up and communicates with Bentley, I think more consistently now than he ever has, which is mind blowing. But at the same time, it makes, makes me feel good as the mom to just know that like, although Ryan made really bad decisions and is paying the consequences for them, I'm glad to see that that hasn't stopped him from showing up or like calling and communicating because in the past that he, that would have halted everything. Right. So, um, yeah, every, it's going in a, in a good direction and, um, hopefully it stays that way even, you know, after he's out. Right. And are you nervous that he's going to let you down again? Because you do talk about that a little bit on the show. But now knowing the place that he's in, even being in jail, being communicative to Bentley, are you still nervous about that? No, I definitely am. And I, I honestly, I think I always will be. Mm -hmm. um, I think the difference is that through Al-Anon and therapy and just the journey that we're on, I think that now I just know my role. I know what I can control. I know what um, what I bring to the table. I know I know what I'm doing, and I feel confident in that. And so, yes, I'm. I will always be afraid that there's that chance that it's going to be a disaster. But mm -hmm. I think um, at the same time, I'm just like, you know, I know what I can do and what I can't do. And that's, that's all I can do. Um, yeah. And I'm confident in that. Yeah. And how is he doing in jail? He's doing okay. He's doing, I mean, as good as you can. He's definitely had some, you know, rough, rough patches, um, just dealing with mental health. And obviously, you know, it's a crazy world on the inside, but um, I mean, at the same time, it's like, yeah, but don't do stupid shit. <laughs>